Yes, welcome back to the Stu View. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add a compression system to a Black Diamond Rock Blitz pack. Hopefully you'll find this useful, and I would like to say to all those out there who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you for your support, greatly appreciate it. If you haven't, and I hate saying this, take a moment, hit that subscribe button, and hit that like button. This will actually help out my channel way more than you can imagine, and it's free for you, so why not? Just hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, like, subscribe, why not? Here we go. Uh, today what we're gonna do is um, add this black diamond pack, Rock Bullets 15. This is a really sweet pack and I've loved it. I use it for alpine climbing, I use it for cragging, like honestly everything. But the one downside that we've noticed is like if I don't have this pack filled up with stuff, like if it's not full volume, then there's no way to compress it. Uh, there's no compression straps, so we're gonna add some compression straps and uh, make this pack a little better. One of the first things that we're gonna make are these nylon straps. I'm gonna pre-cut them. I end up pre-cutting eight, but I only end up using six. This is half inch nylon, and I get a rough measurement with my phone, and you can sort of see they are approximately two and a half inches. After that, what we're going to do is put some glue on them and we are going to fold them into a circular shape. This is 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. I'm sure you can pick this up at any store. I'll put a link to it online. I put a little bit of glue on the far right side there and then I put a little bit of glue on the back side on the opposite side and then as I fold it together I contact two glue surfaces and they kind of stick together in a loop. This is kind of similar to folding a piece of paper into an envelope. Alright glue is really messy to work with. I hate it. up this poker to melt a hole through the three layers. Boom. So now you have a hole burned through the three layer side. We have eight of these, but our model pack has six. Kinda like the look of six, so we're gonna just use a Sharpie and put these dots on this pack. Okay, so a little bit of eyeballing, but you, if you wanted to approximate, I did like about one inch from um, this corner to my mark. And then they're approximately like five inches apart. Got our marks. Next step. Now we gotta make some holes. We're gonna use the same blowtorch and <clears throat> poker method to put these holes in the pack. Gonna be careful so you don't get them anywhere else. Mm -hmm. 
we go. Just burnt those holes, the rivets. Time for the rivets. Thing out. Come on, when, B. When wow. BD could have done this. BD should have done this. We'll send them this video. And the last step is put in the paracord. Got some paracord. West Coast paracord, if you're curious. Looking sick. Pretty simply just threaded the paracord through, and now we're gonna cut off the excess because clearly we won't need that. Snoop. Burned them up just to keep them from fraying. I don't have to do that. So you can just use any type of one of these, honestly. I tried to put one of those black ones on, but it's, it's like hard to feed through. Yeah. Simple overhand on a bite to keep on the tensioner. Guess it's not on a bite, double overhand, whatever. So here it is. In its full state. Maybe you hike in, get to camp the crag um, maybe you have some custom sperries with vibram soles that were made by Cole Casserly you know maybe you got something like that that you want to dump at the campsite uh, 
Maybe dump your sleeping bag. And then you wanna go on like a short mission to fill up water. So at that point, you can cinch it up. Like so. Um, and then when you ever cinch it up, it's just gonna make it much more practical to climb with it with your approach shoes, your snacks, and your water. Um, as opposed to the way that Black Diamond made it. Boom, ready to go. There you have it. You hike in. Alpine day, get to the base, take out your harness, take out your shoes, take out your chalk bag, take out the rack, and you're left with your approach shoes, your rain shell, your food, your water, and you leave it in the pack, you cinch it up, and now it is much more suitable for climbing without things uh, shaking around in there. Boom, just makes sense. I don't know why it didn't come this way. Um, so if you want your pack custom done, I'll tell you where to ship it. So there you have it. That is the Rock Blitz 2.0. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will put a link to all the products in the description below so that you can replicate this design for yourselves if you're interested. If for some reason you would like the Casserole Stew Corporation to customize and fix up your Rock Blitz pack, put a comment down there and we'll figure out a way that we can link up and make that happen for you. I'd like to say a special thank you to Cole Casserly. He is the guy who had the idea for the product improvement. He had the tools, the workspace, pretty much provided everything. Thank you. I love you. I'll put a link to his handle up here. You guys should check him out. He's a cool dude. If you feel interested in showing me a little bit of love, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, maybe leave a comment, and it'll help support me. And it's just nice to feel a little love and encourage me to continue making videos. That's it for now. Peace.